little piece of plastic could be so much fun. When you apply for the HSN card, instantly get $10 off. It's all about you. Extra flex on the things you love. When you use your HSN card, get extra flex all day, every day on all jewelry, beauty, and fashion purchases. Plus VIP financing, VIP easy returns, exclusive offers, all with no annual fee. Apply now. Call 1-800-695-1418 or search HSN card at hsn.com. The Patricia Nash brand is all about old world craftsmanship, Italian leather, and amazing quality. We started with handbags and accessories. Now we make amazing scarves and hand-weaved shoes. It's taking all of that old world craftsmanship and memories of our heritage, our travels abroad, bringing it all for today's woman. Don't miss a thing with our HSN app, available on Apple and Android devices. Get $10 off your first in-app purchase with code WELCOME10. Opt in to push notifications for early access to exclusive app-only deals. Shop faster than ever with exclusive new product videos, only on the iPhone. Watch HSN Live anytime, anyplace. And the new shop and search features make finding your favorites easier than ever. Search app on hsn.com to download. I'm, putting, I'm doing my weird chef fold, attempting to do it. Hang on, I'm almost ready. It's live television, what can I do? Hi, I'm Suzanne Runyon. We had a great hour in the kitchen. Oh my gosh, I have to tell you, there's such a fun cult following for the Instapot. And when I saw I had it at my show today, I was like, yes, yes! I am a Pinterest girl, you can't get away from it. There are millions of people who go gaga over Instapot, and we launched it today here on HSN. Also, this is super crucial. We have our own exclusive version of it that you can't get anywhere else. And yes, here it is, the famous Instapot. Right now, there are 1.5 million followers of this item on their Facebook page. Why? Because it works great, and people are so imaginative and have so many cool recipes that you can do in this. What's the other reason that makes this one very special is this this actually takes the place of nine different appliances that are crowding your kitchen cabinets and your kitchen counter. You're gonna be able to do so much. In fact, two more features that are not available on any other Instapot are available on this one. And I know Kelly's gonna go over that in just a second. If that weren't all, we have the best price anybody has at under $100. And then what's really blew me away is we have six flex pay. So if you want a new version, if you've seen it before, if you've seen all the Pinterest uh, about it and you've wanted your Instapot, this is the perfect place and the perfect time to finally get it, which I'm pretty pumped about. You do get recipes to go with it. A lot of little accessories we'll get to, but I do want to get Kelly out here so we can get cooking. Hi, Kel. Hello, how are you? How pumped was I when we and met me. about Instapot? I, I know, it's so like this massive and, um, you know, blocking. <laughs> I mean, I'm so excited about it. I absolutely love Instapot. This is an exclusive version to, QV, uh, to HQVC and HSN, but today we have the best price. This is caramel corn. If you just Google recipes and then Instant Pot behind it, you'll get thousands, hundreds of thousands of recipes. So I just Googled Instant Pot Caramel Corn, and I got 17 on the first page. Come on, are you serious? Instant Pot Caramel Corn, and you can pop popcorn, and you can saute your caramel. I've been eating this. I'm surprised there's any left. It is amazing. <laughs> it's decadent. You can saute in little. this pot. Yeah, try a little <laughs> bit of it, because it's not going to last. Oh, it's warm Yeah, still. it's All warm. Right. It's decadent. You can, you know, saute, simmer. This is going to take the place of nine different appliances. But maybe you're somebody that's new. Essentially, an Instant Pot is a pressure cooker. It's also your slow cooker. It's also your steamer. It's also a frying pan for crying out loud. Sauté, right? It's everything. This one sterilizes and will bake cakes. That's why it's exclusive to HSN. If you're familiar with the Instant Pot Duo, or maybe you have the Instant Pot Duo in one of your carts on various online retailers, this is that plus a couple extra features. So you want to get the Viva. That's what yes. you want to get today. The Viva. And that's what we've got. And yep. it's totally exclusive. exclusive. All right. I am now simulcasting all our, I will have one of the world's greatest chefs joining me in just a few minutes. 
minutes. So if you want to ask him She's a question. She's talking about me. Yeah, that would be Kelly. <laughs> but we do. We have Michael and Liz. They're going to be joining me. they got a great Today special. Or if you want to, I want you to rave if you have Instapot. We want to yes. know what is your favorite recipe that it. you make with your Instapot. Yes. What, do you, what has been your experience? So yep. go to our Facebook page live and I can answer some questions too. We're going to do start to finish, hopefully within the duration of this presentation. Okay, any of your favorite noodles, we're going to use um, linguine noodles. Uh, you could use angel hair pasta. You could use spiralized noodles. Anything you want to put on the inside, you can do it from raw or fresh. That's about a pound. Then we're going to do some broth on top. Okay, but you can see that I'm not measuring anything. This is the epitome of one pot dump meal, right? <laughs> Throw everything in, turn on your instant pot and walk away. Here's our cream. We're going to add a little bit of cream and then any vegetables or none, whichever you choose, but we're just going to do broccoli. That could be onions or peppers, um, you know, whatever you want. And then look, a whole bowl, probably about I don't know, a pound and a half of raw shrimp. That's what we're going to pop on the inside. This is what we're talking about. When we say instant pot, it's like in an instant. <laughs> I'm going to give this, um, I'm actually only going to give it two minutes under pressure. Yeah, two minutes under. For, wait a minute. For the raw noodles. Raw linguine. Yep, yep. Raw shrimp. shrimp raw vegetables. vegetable. Okay, yep. all right. You could add some two spices minutes. or herbs if you want. <laughs> um, actually, I'm going to do three. Let's try and let's do three. We're going to go right down here. You have 15 presets built in. So if you've never used a pressure cooker, then you could just pick one and walk away. Um, or you can just do, you know, your own time. So this one we're going to do right at three minutes there. Pop that on. You don't even have to hit start. <laughs> Once it's Stop. Once you stop messing with the computer for a couple of seconds, it automatically will start going to pressure. Each one of these you can select for the pressure from less, normal, or more. That's basically high, medium, or low pressure. But don't worry about any of that if this is your first version. I always tell people, if this is your first pressure cooker, just choose like chicken and do meat and walk away because it'll blow your mind. Right, right. You can do it from frozen. It locks in all the nutrition. It locks in all the flavor. And that's why there's one and a half million people on their Facebook page. I know Imagine. celebrities, huge celebrities that have way less than one and a half. <laughs> this is a celebrity if I have. Oh, I mean, we are own. in the presence of like, you know. Greatness. Um, greatness. <laughs> okay, Big really quickly, yes. Barb, say hello. Elaine, Rebecca. Rebecca, she said, I just bought one from you all. Rebecca, I want to know why. So go back to your Facebook and answer, why did you get the Instapot for me, if you will? Azar D, hi, honey. Uh, and uh, Brittany and Phyllis. Phyllis says it's the best rice she's ever made it using does. the Instapot. It makes the best rice, wild rice, black rice, white rice, quinoa, couscous, the best grains. It does the best grains. And there's a button built in that says rice. You literally put your liquid in, your rice in, and you hit the button that says rice and you walk away. And you know what, I love what Dee said on here too. She said, this is great, we'll save money on eating out because oh, back totally. to school time and she's got kids. Absolutely, yep. plus you can buy like a cheaper cut of meat. I always encourage people, go out and buy the cut of meat that you always avoid because it's dry and go ahead yeah. and put it in your Instant Pot. It's the best tenderizer Hello. of meat. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about, a beef roast. It's like roast beef, right? I mean, this would take 10 oh hours gosh. in a slow cooker. It would take five or six hours in your oven and in your oven it would oh be dry gosh, so good. isn't that amazing wow with a little bit of broth you could i mean any liquid that's the fun of instant pot How everybody long did it take? this is this is 55 minutes at high pressure wow 55 minutes at high mm. pressure so under an hour but under an hour of basically doing nothing. I mean, <laughs> there's no checking an oven. There's no worry. Is it going to overcook or undercook? You really, I mean, if you can mess up a meal in an Instant Pot, I want to talk to you because I want to know what, what you're doing. You cannot mess up a meal. It makes really cooking good. so easy. And if you're a sophisticated pressure cooker, maybe this is like your fourth or fifth pressure cooker. For some of you, it might be your fourth or fifth Instant Pot. There are collectors of Instant Pots uh, because people love them so much. Then you know that all these buttons have the high, medium, and low feature. You can get as fun, funky, and sophisticated as you would like with each recipe. Have fun with your liquids. Maybe try ribs in your favorite soda or ribs in your favorite beer. I mean, that's all of these liquids infuse. That's the essential you know, idea behind pressure cooking. It all gets infused. It's under pressure. There's nowhere for the liquid to evaporate. So it tenderizes your food. It makes it taste better, and it's healthier because none of the nutrition has a chance to evaporate. True. So um, it's really healthy. Okay, so Terry. Terry, um, she's got a great comment. She says, you got to heat this up. So it goes, every pressure cooker has to get up to pressure. Yeah, it comes to pressure. So, and then it starts cooking. Yep. Uh, but it does that all automatically, right? It does it automatically.
automatically. Okay, but yep. she said, she said she loves my Instapot. And then Terry, unfortunately, for some reason, my computer's messing up. She said, I've made so many in dot, 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 and I can't read it just yet. Oh. <laughs> Rebecca says, my friend from work makes yogurt out of hers. Okay, so there's a button that says yogurt. How cool is if that? If you've ever had fresh yogurt, it makes the best fresh yogurt. You can strain it into Greek yogurt. You can do fun f yogurt flavors, but it, there's a button. That's why people love it. I mean, there's a button for an egg on this one, hard-boiled eggs, egg souffles. No way. There's a button for cake on this one. There's a sterilized button if you have baby bottles or you want to do like the water boil canning. Um, you can do that on the inside of this machine. This is the most sophisticated one uh, in terms of like the ones that I've seen because it has all the different, you know, presets, but then you also can customize it. So you can simmer and saute like this bacon. This is smoked bacon. We actually cooked the bacon inside here before we did the mac and cheese. That's great. So and then you don't even have to get out of pot. Then you just add in the ingredients. You don't have to That's get out awesome. a fry pan. You don't have to have the oil popping on the stove. Angie Look said, I just bought cheese. this one very first pressure cooker, multi cooker, and couldn't be happier. I will never, uh, I want to see the rest of this, go back. <laughs> to something something. I will never then, use my oven again, I bet it says. And then she says, love, love it in big yes, capital letters. It's amazing. Yeah, this is great. So, and I think there's so many fun things about it. Now, if you're kind of saying, well, where do I get started? You do get recipes right out the box. So you're going to know how to work with it. Yes. It's basically goof proof. Like you 41 can't mess this recipes. one up. And then on top of that, we do have a book. It's called Delicious Meal Made Easy. There are 120 uh, pressure or time, sa uh, time savings pressure cooker recipes. And you know what's shocking is the things you can do. Do you know this has a cake baking mode that's Press one of the exclusive yes. modes in this version that's only available here. Yep. The other one is called sterilizing. So if you're doing a lot of canning, yep. and in the fall the we tend to do boil. a lot yep. of canning, you can your corn and pickles <clears> and things like that. Or if you have baby bottles. Oh, baby if bottles? If you want to sterilize like your utensils, like, you know, right before a dinner party, throw it all in here. It's a great idea. You can sterilize and everything. And that's another exclusive mode. Exclusive by mode, the way, easy alert. to work, easy to use. By the way, if you've ever purchased a pressure cooker, typically it comes with a non-stick insert pot. Yes. Instant Pot always comes with a stainless steel mm, insert. And people great. love cooking with stainless steel for lots of reasons. Dishwasher safe on the pot and the lid. Plus, you don't have to worry about scratching. The, yeah, if, you, yeah. if you've got non-stick on a lot of the pressure cookers, it's really easy to scratch because you're trying to scoop stuff out and it yep. drives you nuts. So we did this in the rice mode. 12 minutes for this under high pressure, right? You can do high, medium, or low. Okay. I pretty much always default to high pressure. Minutes? 12 minutes, including with our chicken from raw. This is a cilantro no right, lime rice that. with a um, sweet and sour pineapple chicken. Oh my god! I mean, but that's the thing. It sounds difficult. It's literally like a can of pineapple. Um, the rice, we added fresh cilantro, and then you can see we added peppers that for our vegetables. That is so And then a little sweet and sour sauce delicious. is not amazing. Oh and my gosh. And it does gosh. the best rice. You'd think I could get it on the plate today. Oh, the, on the rice is perfect. The plate today. It's perfect it's rice. Perfect. <clears throat> Perfect rice. <laughs> I was eating Easy too much caramel corn. Right? Yeah, my mouth is sticking together. And this is six quart. Which six, is, you know, that's a good it's size. It's a good size. And eight quarts can be overwhelming. Yeah. Ten quarts are if you're feeding the, you know, whole Army. football team. Yeah, for like, uh, a, you know, a church group or something like that. But six quarts is a big family meal or easy for one or two. Okay, That's kind of a nice size. Speaking of capacity, this is a great place to point that out. Okay, this platter that I've just served up, would you say eight to ten easily? That would serve the platter, just oh, what's on absolutely. there. absolutely. Okay, look inside yeah. the pot. Maybe another eight to 10, 25 yeah. people maybe for, you know, wow. good size serving. And that's in our six quart. And that's, you know, enough rice to feed an army plus in the however much chicken plus, you know, a couple of cans of pineapple. That was on the rice mode, 12 minutes high pressure. Done. I mean, and you're done. done. Now it does take a couple minutes to come to pressure. And then if you do a natural release, it'll come down on its own. Or you'll see me do later. You actually can just open the vent. That's when you hear the steam coming out on its own. And then it will come down from pressure in about 60 seconds. Okay, let's say I've got something going and then I get a call and I got to go pick up my son yes, from football. Which is automatically. What happens? It stops when it's done cooking and switches to keep warm. So it won't overcook. Yes, See? it's not like your That's, oven that'll okay, burn. Okay, so wait a minute. What if I say, okay, I'm going to throw everything in there. I got to run to the groceries. Yeah, I'm you do can a do a delay. Errands. 24 hour delay. No kidding. So like if I set my Instant Pot at home with like, say rice and beans. Obviously I'm not going to put meat or anything in yeah. there for 24 hours later. But like rice and beans or some sort of a soup mix or a chili or something like that. In 24 hours I could time it to come on and cook and I'd be home with my dinner 
Done. Waiting for you. Waiting for me. And it'll be sitting there not overcooked it's, and be piping and hot. And be piping hot. And be delicious. Isn't that brilliant? It can be, like, it can be beans from dry. Instant Pot will do beans from dry, depending on the bean, 12 to okay. 15 minutes. That's crazy. From dry what, beans. How, like, how long does it take to usually do dry beans? Dry beans usually would soak overnight. Soak overnight, and yes. then you got to cook and them after that. And then you would that. cook them. Isn't that great? This from does, dry. like the black beans or, you know, the softer beans, 12, 15 minutes. Okay, so Joe said looks Pretty easy amazing. to clean. The stainless steel is the key on that. Yeah. Because, again, you're not going to scratch it like you dishwasher would. Dishwasher safe. Uh, dishwasher safe, which yep. is awesome. Lind Lindy, uh, Lydia said, one of the best buys putting my order. Thanks, HSN. Yay, Lydia. Uh, she also said, this will be your first pressure cooker. Well, good for you. It's a lot it's a of great your first pressure for. cookers. Yeah. Have you been to a party and you maybe don't know anybody in the room and you hear the word Instant Pot, <laughs> your immediate best friends, oh, I've got an Instant Pot, and you go over your favorite recipe. It's like a, it's a, it's a following. It's a family. It's, I mean, think about it. There's 1.5 million followers. Million followers. I, and wait, you were saying people, women are crocheting. <laughs> Carrying toast yes. to, for their Instant Pot. Stickers people for their are, Instant Pot. Listen, people are taking their Cricut and customizing yep, the exterior for the with stickers yes. on the Instant Pot. <laughs> they love it so much. I, and the recipes, oh my gosh. Millions online. Millions yeah, and millions. millions of specifically Instant Pot recipes. recipes yep. I, there is. If you've ever wanted a pressure cooker, I'm telling you, go for this one. You know what it's I really love one. doing it's my research? One. The company who makes this several years ago, their whole philosophy is let's get people to not eat out so much yep. and make really high-tech items. Items yep. because there's literally a microchip inside yep. here. It's a computer. That's why you yeah. have all that really wonderful digital ease in yeah. front. Well, and I mean, our phones are computers. Now our vacuum cleaners are computers. Your pressure cooker is now a computer. But it's not just a pressure cooker. If you want to use this in high, medium, or low on slow cook, it can be your slow cooker. So get rid of your old slow cooker, donate it, or something like that. All the 15 presets are built in right there. You can simmer and saute. You can even steam. You're getting the stainless steel insert. This is dishwasher safe. Nice. It even has the measure marks on the the inside so if you're measuring all the measure marks are on the Less inside bowls to mess up yeah right? that's Less right um, you even have the little rice cup so for your rice or any grain almost every grain is one to one one cup of rice one cup of liquid the liquid can be broth water white wine whatever you want to do the trivet this is usually stuff we ask you to purchase extra on, you know, other pressure cookers. The trivet comes included with the handles to lift up and out. I'll show you the trivet here. You're getting the rice paddle and the soup spoon. The manual that shows you cooking times, you'll figure those out really quick. But then 41 full color Instant Pot recipes. That's great. 41 coming included. Okay, so. Lydia said, can you cook chili and soups in Oh my gosh, Heck it's yes. its own button. Yeah. It has its own it's button its own that says soup. soup. Button. Yes. You go soup, okay, yes. bing. <laughs> All right, you ready for this? You've got, you're gonna go crazy for this one. This one's been a big hit all day. This is Instant what Pot Banana French Toast inside our glass bowl. Oh so any bowl or, you know, silicone insert that would go in your oven can go inside your Instant Pot. And you'll find online lots and lots of folks with great ideas on what to put inside there. But we use the trivet with the helper handles. You can see that's how I got it out. This is layered French toast in the bottom, and then it's layered banana, cream cheese, <laughs> walnut, and um, brown sugar, and then our walnuts again on top. I can't grab my fork fast I enough. I know, look at the, look at the cream cheese and, and how the long did that toast. take so what this was, was 12 minutes under high pressure 12 no minutes under high can pressure can you imagine going home Look at that. making the most delicious dessert you can amazing? imagine and having it on the table in 12 minutes 12 minutes high pressure you pressure. could actually I mean, you like, well, think about it you could sit that. down and eat the food you just made out of that throw the ingredients in yeah. go sit eat your by dinner by the time you're done by the time dessert's you're done, ready and you have like a gourmet dessert i'm gonna hand this to you but i'm gonna put oh i'm running out of hands i just gotta reach i have so many things in my hands look she has caramel but i guess what i do have room for my fork yeah so here i'm gonna just i'll put it right here Thank so you. you can grab it with your fork. This but is ridiculous. There's so many Instant Pot desserts out there that you can look up online, hundreds of thousands, if not millions of okay. desserts that you can do. <laughs> and this Viva version has the cake button built in. So it defaults to 45 minutes and you can go up or down, maybe you have a smaller cake or you're doing like the little lava cakes. All the buttons are built in. Is it good? It's kind yeah, of amazing, right? It's really good. I know, it's really good. It's been a really big hit mm. all day long. That's you, insane. You can use the lid on either mm. side. I think that's really important. So if you get this home and you're wondering what in the world are those little handles, it's your lid holder. Clever stuff that's right, built Nobody in knows here. what to do with the dumb lid. Nobody knows, yeah, like, exactly. Nah, yeah. They've really thought of everything. All right, four minutes yep. to go. How many do we have left, Daryl? Okay, so we got a couple thousand left. Although I will tell you, it's only aired twice. Yep. And how many have we sold? <laughs> oh, a lot. I know, like a whole lot, yeah. right? So we do have a couple thousand. And really, if you've seen the Instant Pot craze, this is your first chance here at HSN to be able to get it. Yep. Please remember, this is exclusive design. There are two new features. And also remember, this replaces 
Nine your pressure appliances. cooker, slow cooker, saute pan, rice cooker, steamer, yogurt maker, your warmer, your cake maker, and your sterilizer. Yes, that is a those. lot of stuff that you have underneath your cabinets or in drawers or on your countertop. Yep. Clear it all out, get donate it, it, get rid of it. Yep. You just need this, and it's basically goof proof. Yeah, you so can't you don't have to worry, it's not anything close to grandma's old pressure cooker. Mm -hmm. And go, if you're on social media or even just on the internet, one and a half million Facebook followers, they all share recipes every day. They talk to each other like they're all best friends. Everybody gives little tips or tricks or do it on high, do it on low, try it this way, try it that way. And it's crazy cool recipes. Really cool By recipes. By the way, Pinterest, Cotton, Cotton says OMG, all in caps with a big exclamation yeah. point. She said, have been waiting for this for the longest oh, time. I'm ordering. Me too. Good idea. I'm telling you. We have you. more features than any other that are out there. So this is the one you're right, Cotton. You want to get this one. Yep. We're at a fall price. You're saving 20. But I'll tell you what's the big key here. Look at that six flex pays. That even surprised Under me. Under $20. Under $20 to, to get this home to try. And you're going to love it. Send it back. We'll give your money back. But trust me, once you go here, you're not going back to it. And you it, won't yeah. go back to traditional cooking, really. No. Because you, you know what you, you get won't. done? You get great slow cook tastes like grandma's stuff she made on the stove but years fast. ago and she spent all day long yes. cooking it but you get it lightning fast yeah we're talking about that just deep soul yeah, filling yep. fulfilling we call that flavor. stick to your ribs the food flavor. yes and you're getting it in 10 and 12 minutes yeah. that's what's really surprising about cooking and you can make anything so we just did um, homemade chicken noodle soup in about 15 minutes um you know you can do your chili it makes the best chili because it tastes like second day chili you know what i'm talking about second day chili is always better than first day oh, chili yeah. when you come out of an instant pot it tastes like second day chili um you can this pork so very inexpensive cut of meat you can put, pork butt, pork shoulder, whatever you call it. We're talking maybe 10 to $12 and you can shred it with a fork. I mean, that's and right. that's a barbecue pulled pork. And how long did that take? That was 55 minutes under high pressure. That's great. Yeah, and you can use any of the pressure modes, especially if you're not new to pressure cooking, you'll know what, you know how to do it. But if you're new to pressure cooking, just hit the button and it'll go. You don't even have to think about those modes. Um, the mac and cheese was six minutes. And then earlier, maybe you were with us at the top of the presentation, we started from raw noodles and raw shrimp. Look at what we're, what we're ending with. Oh my gosh. So that is our liquid, which was just crazy. Cream and broth, our fully cooked shrimp, our it was fully three cooked minutes. noodles. We put it under pressure for three That's minutes. That's shocking. There's our broccoli. Look at the color of the broccoli. Those are that's nutrition. All the nutrition. It's not gray broccoli. Wait, show them the noodles again, because no oh, one believes you. Got oh yeah, the no, that, done. they gotta believe me. Look, look, look at, at the noodles. Look how crazy that is. So I'm gonna add in about. Uh, it's about a cup of cheese. This is about um, a, almost a, a stick of butter. So okay. no calories there. <laughs> I'm gonna add in. It doesn't remove calories. It's one thing Instant Pot doesn't do, but we're working on it. There is um, some cherry tomatoes, our creme fraiche, and then a little bit of parsley. And you've just made a single hot shrimp fettuccine that your friends and family will literally look at you like you just went to culinary school. <laughs> they just will. I mean, and, they'll just look at you like, what happened to you? Three minutes. Yeah, I three mean, minutes under on. pressure. How cool is that? Start and I think to today, finish. too, you know, you're a busy gal, an yeah. entrepreneur, a mom. You got the little cute goats. Yes. We, got all, we all got a lot going on, right? Yeah. And here's your chance to be able to do something that's good for you, good for your family. And you can finally get around the kitchen and eat again around yes. the dining room table and enjoy a really soul-satisfying homemade, homemade meal mm -hmm. and you're going to do it in an instant I mean that's the brilliance behind it all right i'll let you go Kel. Hence thanks the for name. being with us there you go Hence thanks for having the name me. we yes. love that all right yep. stay right there we got you covered uh we also have something else i want to show you uh and i do wear a lot of it it's from diane gilman is this her easy tank oh no it's a new version oh how cute is that top i think i kind of got it i just got two new two more instant inst excuse me two more easy tanks just a second ago like like literally just came in the mail yesterday okay so what she has though this is sexy that's cute it's a faux suede drape front top so it's very sexy but it also covers up you know pieces and parts we might need covered up and uh, it's a great price if you like to see all of our hot items you can totally check it out on hsn.com all right, here we go. Well, I'm really thrilled to meet this next couple. I'm pretty darn excited about this because not only together do they own more than 15 major restaurants, but you've seen him, Mr. Michael, on shows like, I don't know, how about co-hosting The Chow and also James Beard Award winner, uh, Restaurant Tour. His lovely wife, Liz, who's joining us, also is a wine enthusiast. Liz, I'm all in your ballpark on that one, honey. I'm definitely a wine enthusiast. I'm sure you're a lot smarter than I am, but I love me some wine. Anyway, we're very excited because this power 
couple has brought us a beautiful collection of cookware that are just the go-to excellent quality top of the line and it is our best value of the day so let's take a look at it right now let's do it Liz Simon, I love their philosophy. First off, they're from Cleveland. Shout out to our Ohio fans. Woohoo! We love that. I'm from North of Columbus, Ohio. We got Buckeyes in the house. Buckeyes. <laughs> oh, right. But what I love, I, I O. What I love about this couple is they believe in bringing quality, but the goodness that the Midwest represents. And certainly, when you own 15 restaurants, James Beard Award winner, uh, so many accolades, uh, and certainly cookbook authors, goes on and on and on. You know him from Iron Chef. They're going to bring you something that really counts and really works for you. And that's what this collection is all about. Little heads up, I believe the white sold out. I got to get updated on that. We have great colors we're going to show you, but this is an amazing, amazing cast iron collection that is enveloped in beautiful enamel. So you get all the benefits of cooking with cast iron, the heat retention, everything we love about it, but it is easy cleanup, which we really love. And indeed, it is our best value of the day. Hello, hello. How are you? My fellow Buckeyes. Nice to see you. Buckeyes in the house. We're all here. Yes. Are you a Buckeye too? Oh, yeah. No. Oh, you're not yeah, wearing I'm your no, I'm, Well, I'm yes. not. Well, I guess. No, you didn't go to Ohio State, but no. you're from Ohio. You're a Buckeye. Oh, we're all Buckeyes. <laughs> you just have to be from Ohio to be a Buckeye. You from Columbus. No, 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 no. You can be in any color oh, of no. Ohio, and you're oh. a Buckeye. We're sorry, Ohio State. She didn't mean it. <laughs> okay. we'll, we'll represent for him anyway. But anyway, it's nice to meet you both. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Let's talk a little bit about your passion for cooking and how that translates into your today's special. Well, I, you know, when Liz and I were working on this line, like... She, we have, you know, over 50 restaurants. Liz has designed them all. So, and obviously, I'm in the kitchen cooking away. So, we wanted to really mix design and cooking. So, right, you want right. to tell them a little bit about the, you know? Yeah, I mean, well, first of all, <laughs> we decided on this cast enamel because that's what we use mostly at home. So, um, I Wait, and why is that? If that's well, your choice at your because house. Because, it, it, you know, the, uh, the way that it heats the, um, you know, my, well, it's really Michael's choice because he does most of the cooking. <laughs> well, I mean, no, it, it lasts but, a lifetime. But, but when, we did, when we went to do this, instead of just doing the traditional cast iron, mm -hmm. we went with the cast enamel iron. And the reason for that is because I just think it's in a, way, a much easier pan to use. It's much more user-friendly. Um, it cleans up really easy, but you still get all the benefits of cast iron exactly. with none of the, you don't, you don't get rusting, you don't have to season it, you don't have to oil it and baby it. This one, you can just, you know, get it out of the box, start cooking in it, you can throw it in the sink, you can put water in it, it's, you're not going to have any of the no work. problems that cast iron yeah. gen typically mm -hmm. has. Also, I thought it was brilliant. It's dark inside. A lot of times when you have enamel, oh, it will clean. actually turn color yeah. as Absolutely. you use it. All the white enameling. Right. And it starts to make your pots and pans look kind of bad. You guys did a dark interior so that doesn't occur. Exactly. That was brilliant. Yeah. Really brilliant. Well, you know what it is, too? It's like, look, you, you cook a steak. You want to serve a steak like you serve a, you get a steak in a steakhouse. You could do that with a cast iron pan at home, but then you have the process of cleaning, oiling, like Lizzie said. You can't get this in a non-stick pan, right. but then you get the nice release. The beautiful thing about cast enamel is that you get the crust that you get in cast iron, but you get the release that you get in non-stick. Right. So I had this pan going, and you could see how the steak, mm -hmm. it's just perfectly crusted, golden brown on both sides. So you get that crust, but then you could do things that you can't do in cast iron, like the glaze with acidic sauces, not have to worry about it. And it makes everything just perfect. And the way it heats up, look at, we put the liquid in, it's up to a, a high simmer, almost a boil already. That's so a right. little bit of steak and peppers, no problem. And it very well could be the last set of pans you'll ever need. Oh, yeah. Because cast iron, I mean, it's generational. Absolutely. You know, we know grandmas who passed down their cast iron to granddaughters right. and mothers who pass it down. I have a cast iron pot my mommy's made popcorn in. And it's like a Dutch right. oven. That's, and it's still around. I, I make popcorn around. in this one. Do you really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, so let me show you the configuration because I thought you guys did such a brilliant job at choosing, hello, darling at choosing um, the pieces, the bodies. These are all number one workhorses. These are the ones that everybody loves. It's the beginning and it's the end. 
You don't need a lot more than this to really have a lot of cooking success in the kitchen. So to start off with, you're going to get the 10 inch fry pan that's right here. And you know, that's a workhorse. I mean, from doing that basic bacon to, you know, what do you want to do? Chicken, whatever it is, you know, you need that kind of pan, even scrambling eggs. It's brilliant. You get the one quart saucepan with the lid, which I thought was wonderful. There's the one quart right here. This one's such a great one. This is the three quart. I thought that was really a brilliant idea. And that comes with the lid as well. So the one quart little guy, the three quart. And then of course, we're going to talk about the famous, famous four and a half quart Dutch oven. That's the workhorse right here. That's the one that you can do virtually anything in that you can imagine. The colors are fabulous, although heads up. As we head into the evening here on the East Coast, we've already lost the white. So if you saw uh, Michael and Liz earlier and you were kind of waiting for it, you were thinking about it, the white is gone. What we have left now is this gorgeous, gorgeous blue, which is, I think, such a pretty color. There's 1,300 left. Then I'm going to show you the gray right here. This is the gray. This is last call. There's 300 of the gray. I love this burgundy. I think that is so rich and so beautiful. And then finally, your last color that they're working on in the stove is going to be the taupe color, which is a little over 1,000 left in that. All of that is included. Also, it's really neat, too, if I can grab it. Michael loves some meat. You know he's a Ohio boy. He's an Ohio boy when you do a cookbook on this. <laughs> it's all about the meat. You, if you meet my husband, you guys would get along marvelously well. Uh, he's hand-signed the cookbook. It's available. I only have 80 of these remaining, and there's over 200 pages of beautiful recipes here, really focusing on meat, all meats. And then we also have the tongs set. Michael and Liz, do you guys have your tongs set handy, Danny? Oh, yeah. Yes. We have some right here. Oh, yeah, They're check awesome it out. because they're gravity tongs. How does so, that work? So when you have them up like this and you want to put them away in their drawer and you don't want them to get all tangled to everything yeah. else, you close them. And then when you use them and you want to open them, you put them down and you press Stop them again it. and they open. Okay, that's so cool. Closed. And there's yeah. two open. different sizes. Yep. So you get a 12 inch and a nine inch, yep. right? 12 inch and nine inch. That is, that is like crazy Yeah, it's cool. gravity. It's kind of, it's great. Because <laughs> you know what happens? You put tongs in the drawer and yeah, they, they all of a sudden they, they just, open. they mesh or, with every or, other thing or in or there. Or that thing gets broken at the end that you try to pop to open them. Right. And they just don't right. work. Exactly. <laughs> right, exactly. Or you push and you should be pulling. You, yeah, you pull crazy. and push. Anyway, those by themselves are a huge hit. And they also have matching sides to them to match back to the color of the cookware. Right, exactly. Okay, so this is going to seem like a crazy question, but why are lids important, especially in that four and a half quart Dutch oven? Well, this this particular lid, we spent a little extra time on this one. So this has these little dimples. So this, it, what it does is it sort of traps the moisture on the lid, and then you know it's self-based anything that you have in here. But it also works really well for. Um, say when you're cooking rice or any kind of, you know, braising and things like that. Oh yeah, because it just pushes the moisture back in. Look at the, when we started. We started the steak, and this is just a beautiful strip, cooked it to medium. I'm gonna take that beautiful pepper sauce with a little bit of fresh basil. So this is just a pepper steak. Mix it right in there, and we have the pour spouts. So it's really easy to work with. A lot of times people think cast iron is cumbersome, but because of the handles and everything else, it's really easy to work with. And then we just take the pepper sauce right on top. Lizzie got a chili flake. I did. You okay? <laughs> you breathe that And here's, out, right? here's what I love about these things the most, though. Look, we cooked in it. We browned the steak. We put the peppers, tomato sauce, things that stain. And you just take a wet rag, and the pan is totally totally clean. And that's awesome. So really, you do get the best of both worlds. The, the I mean, best everyone of both can tell you the best darn meats and steaks come out of cast iron. Oh, no, 100%. The best Absolutely. All right. that comes out of cast iron, but it is the hassle of the cleanup. And a lot of people just don't like cast iron because you really don't clean it. Right. Uh, and it doesn't release very easily. With this, you get the release of nonstick. You get much more durability out of enameling than you will nonstick. And you get that heat retention that you only get in cast iron, too. Nothing matches cast iron. No. I don't care what's out there. I and what's in the, any of those fancy kitchen shops, yeah. but nothing matches cast well, iron. This is okay. a pan that's in professional restaurants, it's in professional chef's kitchens. Yeah. And the, the reason, we were talking earlier today, Liz and I, when we got our first restaurant, when we first opened, we saved for like six months to buy a single cast enamel pan. Wow. Because they were so expensive, four or five hundred dollars for one pan. Oh my God. We're doing a set of seven for $119. Right. I mean, it's un, it's it's insane. Right. I still can't figure out how we're doing it, yeah. to be honest with you. You did seven pieces for the price of, you know, one pan in maybe a discount store that yeah. you find some cash. Right, you find something on I mean, sale, right. maybe, right? Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. And also, don't forget, the price you are seeing, which is exceptional, and the five flex pay, and free shipping. 
If you know cast iron, you know, it's it's hardy, it's there. Yeah. So to have free shipping on this, that is a huge, hello darling, it's a huge, huge savings. Oh, hello again. Uh, it's, it's like, who's going behind me? All right, couple Pizza things. Time. Number one, I apologize. Jerry Lynn corrected me. It is, <laughs> I said chew chow. It's the chew, sorry about that, it's okay. not the chow. I've been <laughs> called worse things and so is the show. It doesn't matter, don't worry about but it. But you do chow on the chew. You, you chow, chow on you, the you, chew. you have to chow to chew. Right, exactly, Absolutely. so there we go. And also they're saying, oh, love the tongs. Diane says she loves your tongs. So again, it's a two pack on the tongs. Right. Something else everybody's been loving, I just want to point out, your trivets are, they're Pinterest worthy. Yeah, they are they're so cool. awesome. And it's a set of two that match back mm -hmm. to the cookware. Aren't those beautiful? And you can mix it's and cool, match with them. You could have fun with them. We put them all over the place in the mm -hmm. house. Yeah, they're super cute. And we're gonna give the information on the trivets. Um, okay, so you said obviously in your restaurants, why do you cook with cast iron? What's well, I'm the gonna show you another, um, thing that you can do, but like the fry pan, you usually think, oh, I'm gonna saute something or, you know, do something stovetop. Okay. But this we're actually gonna use to make a pizza. Oh, fun. Now, I've been, sort of took the liberty to make a different pizza for this episode. <laughs> um, <laughs> so I just took some mushrooms and put some, a little bit of olive oil and salt. Okay. Put my pizza dough, a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of garlic, Ooh. and I'm gonna, you like the these mushrooms. But this is slivered really fine, and yes, I That's do like beautiful. garlic. Yeah. I love much. garlic. No, you can just bring it. <laughs> You're right. The cloves on there would be fine with me. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> but also, this is going, you know, it's going to caramelize a little bit once it's in the oven. Okay. So this is a really quick five-minute cook time in the oven. We You're put kidding. this in at 500 degrees. I'm going to throw some Parmesan in here. Mm. Well, and how impressive. Like the Your pan can handle 500 degrees. Right. We should talk exactly. about that. Exactly. Right. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, it's, it is impressive. So I'm that. going to looks so good. cheese this up and I'm going to walk this over to the oven <laughs> and we're going to check on it in like five minutes. Okay. Well, I mean, that's the great thing too is like, Liz and I, we t you, you could use these pans on electric, induction, gas, bring them outside to the grill. They could handle a 500 degree oven. They're, they're so versatile. Right. You know? Exactly. That's what I like. And on any surface. Yeah. Did you just say that? Yeah. Or am I repeating? It's, <laughs> <laughs> We've been here for a while. You know, it's the end of this little 24 hour run. We're getting a little silly. Things are going to get silly tonight. It's just going to happen. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, also she wants to know, can every piece stack together? That's actually a good question. Uh, yes. Yeah, they probably can, set, can't yes. they? Yeah, Absolutely. You, you could house this in and this that, into that. that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, perfect. And, and this lid also doubles with the fry pan as well. Oh, oh gosh, so, that's handy too. Right. right. So you so did you need to do a little lid. cover if you're doing yeah. a little oh, gravy or something. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. So that's, now, what are you making nice. now, Chef? Excuse well, we're gonna me. we're gonna make a little pasta, and we've been making kind of pomodoro throughout the day. We want to kind of mix it up. Give you guys, if you've been watching watching the show, we want to make you a couple new recipes. So we're gonna make a rigatoni with chorizo. I'm gonna nice. go a little bit of onion in there. You want to put some garlic in there, Lizzie? Uh, yes. Yeah. And I would. Very much. Let it rip. And then, so this, here's the other beautiful thing about this pan. Because um, of the dimples in the lid, because it forces that moisture back in, I'm over about a medium high heat here. I could put the lid on for a second and let the sweating happen and kind of walk away and not worry instead of sitting there. So you hear, you hear chefs all the time, you gotta let it sweat, you gotta let it get translucent, you gotta bring out the flavor, you're stirring, you're watching, you're salting. You put the lid on and it pushes the moisture back in. You don't have to worry about things burning. They break down, they come together. And then when I put the tomato sauce in with a little bit of stock, same thing, heat's on medium, lid's on. I don't have to worry about it burning. So I could do other things as I'm cooking, which makes cooking fun. All right, All right we're gonna go to the phones because Pat, another Buckeye from Ohio is joining us. Hi, Pat, you're on with Mike and Liz. Welcome to HSN. Hi, how's everybody doing? We're doing yeah, great. Really good, welcome. <laughs> what do you think about this beautiful cookware set? Oh, I can't wait to get it. I cannot wait to get it. I have tried all different sorts of pots and pans, and I don't seem to be that satisfied with it, but I'm looking at this here, and can't wait to get it. Oh, that's great. I think you're going to love it, Pat. You're going to love it. We're going to oh, give I you the Ohio like stamp that. of approval, Pat. Yes. Don't you worry. <laughs> it's Ohio for you. This is You're going to love this pot. And you bought it in the beautiful blue. I love the I love the blue. I do, too. Yeah. 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 It's a it's really, 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 really pretty. Yeah. Well, have fun with it the pattern. It was a hard decision. I didn't know what color to get, but when I seen the blue, I thought, no, I'm going to get that blue. It's yeah. so pretty. You know, next time you could buy it by the piece and you could get a scarlet and a gray. I'm just saying. I mean, Ohio oh, State. Yeah. Ohio, no. yeah, I'm going to have to hide this for my girls. They'll see this and they'll say, Mom, where did you get that? And then 
Who knows? They may try to take it home with them, but I'm not going to let them. <laughs> That's so exactly. cute. Well, Pat, hang on to your pots. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> okay. Well, okay. Have a good evening. You Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Um, hey, um, Daryl, real quick, how many books do we have left? Michael signed each and every one of these. We're down to the final 50 if you want the cookbook. There's over 200 pages. It's a fabulous cookbook, and it really is all about meats. So this is, like, my husband friendly, too. If your husband collects cookbooks like mine does and he specializes in meats, you're going to love that, too. All right. Now, um, another couple questions that people have too is why did you pick these bodies to put into this collection because like a, a, a one quart that's an interesting size yeah but what I what I love about this well uh, things I personally do I like to boil my eggs in here because I'm not boiling I mean if I'm not doing you know a dozen or it's Easter or something right but um, <laughs> you know it, it's great which I will show you right now um, I've got a little caramel sauce in here okay. in this pan yeah. I made these sticky oh, buns, oh. and when I you say I them. made these sticky buns, what I meant is Katie made these lovely sticky <laughs> buns. You watched Katie make I the sticky buns. I watched Katie Come make on. sticky buns, but I mean, look at this. That's great. Yeah. So you're able I to melt down your brunch. caramel yeah. in there. And in any sort of compote or sauce, I mean, I've done, you know, like a quick tomato, like a pomodoro sauce in here. Yeah. Um, just, you know, for Michael and I. And it's, it's plenty. Is plenty that, and you know, also, too, a one, if you just have a cup of soup. You know, I just want some soup. Oh, absolutely. It's just perfect. Right. It is perfect. And something else I want to show, if you do me a favor, once you get that done, can you lift those out? Because a lot of times when you think cinnamon rolls, what happens? You put them in a regular old pan. Right. And they get stuck to it. And then they end up ripping. Or you have to spray down the heck out of the pan or butter the pan down to get them to release. When you see this, yeah, so you're wiping caramel well, out of there, Yeah, actually. I mean, exactly. <laughs> so, I mean, you can see, like, this completely releases from this pan. That's brilliant. I mean, you could take this right over to the sink, run hot water in it, throw a little dish soap in there, and it's totally going to do the same thing. It's going to clean. And you know what's so great about that? The outside will do the same thing. Exactly. A lot, you ever seen a pan that does not have, like, a nonstick on the outside? Right. And then what exactly. happens, the inside's clean, but the outside looks terrible. Right. I love it because it's all enamel. Exactly. And I mean, we've been oh, cooking on this stove all day, and we've sort of, you know, there's been spills and blops and so blurbs and... And all kinds of stuff happening. So. Watch this too. Yeah, See, wait, look. Oh, they're all coming out. Oh, it's a mass exodus. I gotta, I gotta do it this way, I guess. Yeah, you gotta, all eat all all out. Out. Okay. you gotta eat them all now. If all, if all, I just wanted to show them. You gotta eat them all. Because right. wa watch this, guys. Literally, I mean, see how they're <laughs> lifting, and all it is and is the caramel down below. Wait, but, can you guys see but, this but, shot? Wait, I'm gonna see if they can get. Can you guys get a camera up over here? Oh, they got it. Yeah. They're on it. No, I want you to see the. Oh, sorry, you're not quite see. I'm gonna pick this up. Yeah. Hopefully, look, you guys, look what's happening. Any other pot that would be sticky, that's that's a whole night soaking in the kitchen. Absolutely. Sink, because right. you, you're trying to soak it to get it off. But look at that. It's just literally just almost like um, ice. It's just, or a rice rink. It's just sliding right. down. Well, and you can that's see great. the even color, too, because of the even distribution of yeah. heat in this pan, which is a huge... Yeah, huge you can't get that on nonstick. People get so wrapped up around... Like, chefs, it's funny. Chefs, we don't like nonstick pans because we know that we can't cook evenly in them. They release good, but then there's limitations. Cast iron pans, we love. People don't always love cooking with them because they cook everything perfect, but they're hard to clean. Right. So when we did this line, we wanted to do something where you could get things that people cooking at home want, where you get the easy cleanup, the easy wipeout, all that great, the great release, but you really get that even heat. You could go in and out of an oven. You could never go in a 500 degree oven with a with oh, a non no. pan. Oh, no, it would melt. So, so to be able to do all that is is... It's a bonus for cooking at home. Why is it a bonus that it retains heat so well? Because when you're cooking, like when I take the lid off this and you wow. see how this is simmering, sure. you know, because the heat is coming from everywhere around the pan. Now I could turn the heat off and it's still simmering. So if I'm putting pasta in it that's we, we just pulled out of the water, and then you start putting in colder ingredients like the like the cheese and stuff like that that's not hot. Maybe a nub of butter you would put in there. Maybe some olive oil you would put in there. Maybe. If, if you were just we're in a regular it. pan, the temperature would just drop and then your food gets cold. Okay. So with this, you're, as you're building it, it's holding its heat. So everything is staying hot. So then by the time you get to your presentation, everything's hot. Well, and not only that, but I mean, say, you know, everybody is not, you know, ready for dinner right when you are. And and you, you, you set it to the side. This is going to stay hot for half an hour. That's yeah. I mean, just easy. put the lid on it. Right. And exactly. Right. Well, right. tell them, Absolutely. Lizzie, this is, this is your, my favorite little fact here is Dutch oven. What's a Dutch oven? Well, Dutch oven <laughs> happens to be. Well, it's actually anything that you do on the in the oven. These pans are Dutch ovens because you can do the same exact thing on a stovetop. You can roast a whole chicken in these on the stovetop. 
Wow. You know, crisp one side, turn it over, put the lid on, let it go. Um, you know, all your roasted vegetables, anything. So in the summer, I think they're great because you turn on a burner instead of heating up your entire oven. Right. So, and well, here's what I love about it too. It's like Liz said, if people aren't ready, the only thing you have to worry now is the pasta is going to cook too long in there because that's how hot it's going to stay. Right. But Good if morning. you're, if you want to again serve it on a plate, this is the small. I was going to say this is the petite one. And, and watch it. And the volume. This is a and this huge is, platter. This is only about half full. Yeah, as it's well. not, look at it's how many people full. you could serve out of right. this. <laughs> Oh, isn't that surprising? I mean, it, it, because it looks so small it when does. it's in the pan, right? It does. But I mean, this is easy for that, people. Oh, easy, easy. you know, or yeah. one hungry Mikey. Just <laughs> one big hungry Mikey. <laughs> okay, so again, let, I'm going to go over here, guys, if you don't mind, where you're setting up for the next one. And I want to show you uh, exactly what's in the set. And I want to go over the colors again. I know, I think it was Pat, she got this beautiful blue. It's such a good choice. So here we go. We start over here on the very front. Mm. That's the little guy, and it's absolutely adorable. <laughs> That's going to be the one quart. So you're looking at the one quart right there, and it comes with the lid. Then you go over to the next one, and that's going to be your four quart, right? Oh, no, excuse me. That's the three quart right here. So it's one quart, three quart with a lid. Then you go to the fry pan, and remember, this works on top of here. So for the lid for the Dutch oven is going to work on top of the fry pan. And then you have the four and a half quart, which is the Dutch oven. This is the blue. And then over here is the beautiful, I think the gray is gorgeous. For me, I think the burgundy is very, um, very, um, uh, like Provence, you know, I think it's gorgeous. That and the blue. The blue is very Provence, too, when you think about it. Like French Provence. And the blue is the most popular. And then we have the taupe down here at the bottom. When I look at this... I certainly think of new couples getting married because it's not only on my mind, but you want to start them out right. This could be the cookware they use for the rest of their marriage. Hopefully it lasts a really, really long time. But what's great about when you get cast iron, you're getting that kind of quality. I bet you might have a piece your grandma gave you. Maybe it's an heirloom piece the family literally passes down from generation to generation. What Michael and Liz did so brilliantly is enamel the whole thing. So, And there's no other flavor out there that's imparted in any other style of cookware than cast iron. It's completely unique and different on its own. It tastes so good, especially if you love your meats. Cast iron, it just screams for it. Um, but think about this. You could do a great little clam bake in the four and a half quart Dutch oven. You could do your eggs and your bacon and your omelets and that, but then they can go in the oven and you can literally do the cinnamon rolls or you can do a casserole in here. And I know, Liz, you were showing a casserole in the three quart, right? right. What'd you make in that one? Yeah. We have a beautiful macaroni and cheese. Oh, oh it's stop. bubbly. And I oh, just, we, we completely turned off, you know, set this off the burner and it's still bubbling. And then it's been so, sitting I there mean, for kind so of a while. This, yeah, so this is one of those things if you have sort of a, you know, buffet set up at home and you want to do that, you know, this is going to stay, this will probably stay hot for an hour. Want to get it? Yeah, you should. You can that. see the um, gooiness on the side. You can oh, see okay. this crunchy, these crunchy bits. And oh. it's just completely pulling away Releases. from the side of the Wait, pan. Wait, you know what? I want to and make sure the, the guys can see that. Because, you guys, this is crazy. I mean, it's and not. I, can you turn it, Liz, uh, the other way? Just turn it all the way just around. Go. Oh, you can go yeah. on that side. Yeah, however you want. That's perfect. Yeah. You can do that side. It'd be perfect. Thank you. Okay, and look so at that. You can just see. Now, that's it's just sticky completely. Stuff. Yeah. Right. If you I had mean, a this glass, is gooey. you had a glass baking dish, <clears throat> that would literally soak oh, for no, two days. Absolutely. And I mean, stuff would still be stuck on it. Right. right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, we oh. pulled caramel out of one and mac and cheese out right. of another. I mean, yeah. I mean that, that certainly is, shows how it performs. Right. And the other thing is, you know, if you make mac and cheese in a very thin pot, it kind of, it never cooks evenly. It's burnt in some areas, not cooked in other areas. With this, again, the even heat distribution, everything cooks at the same pace. Right. Okay, Which makes one. everything perfect. I know, perfect. you need a oh, utensil. Man. Oh, man, I got a stat. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Can I There's try that? Of course. Would you guys, what's the recipe? And this has a little bit of chicken in it as well. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we put some roasted chicken in this one. I think so. I, I, I saw roasted yeah. chicken yeah. in that one. What's your favorite cheese to work with? <laughs> you know. Oh, you, 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 I mean, what's my oh favorite cheese not to work with? Yeah. It's an easier I mean, question. I mean, in this one, I we did cheese. cheddar, well, we did pepper jack, we did parmesan. Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay. This yeah. is actually Katie's. Katie's famous Katie. mac and Katie. cheese. Katie. Katie's famous Katie. mac and cheese. Katie. Stars for this one. Woo. Oh, All right, yeah. Say hi to Peggy in Florida. Hi, Peggy. You're on with Michael and Liz and Suzanne. Welcome. Hi. Good evening. How are you? We're great. Hi, oh, Peggy. Well, I, I purchased uh, the cookware set in the Burgundy, and I like cooking with... Um, cast iron very much, but I was curious about whether or not you need to oil this because it does not look like it. No, absolutely not. You do not have to oil it. 
You don't, yeah, you don't want to rub perfect. it out with salt. You don't want the oil because it's it's enamel coated cast iron. You're gonna get all the benefits of regular cast iron. Plus, you're not gonna have to season it. You could scrub it with soapy water. You don't have to worry about pulling out the season. You don't have to worry about it rusting. And it's gonna release like a nonstick pan would release. Right. And I've actually never oh had goodness. to scrub these. Um, if if anything. Michael sometimes likes to cook on very high heat. I like so every fire. once in a while. You know, all I do is when he's done. You know, when I when we're done, you know, just put it in the sink, soak it, and it wipes out with a sponge. I mean, it literally okay. releases even if there's something a little stuck. And Peggy, can great. I ask you why do you like cooking with cast iron? What's the difference? Oh, we got a break well, out. there seems I like the even cooking with it. You know, e how the heat usually evens out and cooks all the way through. Yep. And there are so many recipes like cornbread, which I love to make in cast iron. Mm. Um, but I hate fooling with the seasoning of the cast iron, so I've just sort of just decided not to do it. But I'm very excited about getting these and really appreciate uh, you putting them out. And I love the burgundy, actually. When I first tuned in, I just saw the blue and the gray, which in the blue is beautiful, but the burgundy is going to be better for our kitchen. So. I think the burgundy oh, is very gorgeous. Thank you. Great. Yeah, thank you so much, Peggy. And I'll show you. I've got the burgundy here in front of me. I know we don't have any of the other ones, uh, the gray nor the... No, it's the gray. It's not out. But I want you to see. This is what Peggy... Isn't that pretty? Let me move this out of the way. Oh, beautiful. Gorgeous. Well, Peggy, beautiful. thank you. Enjoy that new thank cast you. iron. I think, think you're going to so love much. it, Peggy. Well, and you let me, are going to love and it. And I can ask you guys this, too, because I've experienced, my husband loves cooking a cast iron, and he's into meats. Michael, like I said, he's a meat guy like you are. Um, quite, not as experienced, of course, but what is it about the flavor that cast iron imparts? It is very different than working with nonstick or even stainless steel. It's, well, it, it's, it's the pan, it, the pan isn't giving you the flavor the way the pan performs this. Yes. So, because, it's because you could get true caramelization, it's because you could get things, it's the even heat, it's the golden brown like the pizza i would love to Crazy. get to my pizza for a minute but i'm giving it to you take the pizza the pizza like beauty okay again we you saw us put this in the pan there's no tricks there's no nothing that's great i mean this just oh this had tomato sauce all over it so <laughs> that's, I, you know. that's my but fault look, i made a mess wiped out yeah um, that's great so, yeah it's amazing and the pizza's right. here and it literally slid out of the pan right <laughs> and it's got a really oh, nice see crackle. the bottom yeah oh it's perfect right so this is just a really lovely, I mean, this took five minutes. That's crazy. It's, I mean, what a great dinner this is. Yes. So, and, and then, then I just how made much would you pay really for that in your restaurant? Like, to get a oh, like $45. Pizza. No, I'm no just, we would not do that. <laughs> Could it be a no, lot we don't more serve pizza. pizza. <laughs> <laughs> so if you did. But I mean, Wolfgang you would, would charge you would, at least $100 for that no, pizza. I think in a restaurant you would probably pay, like if somebody, you are awful. <laughs> oh, Wolf knows I, just, I love him. I'm just going to finish this recipe. <laughs> okay, go on. I'm sorry. I'm making myself um, laugh. So this is just a little bit of arugula and basil, oh, lemon juice nice. and olive oil. Oh. I mean, that looks that looks super pro. Oh, and so good. I did it. I'm not a chef. I'm just a cook. That's great. Um, One of the best ones I know. Um, Pat says, hi, I got the knife set uh, by Simon the last time Michael and Liz were on HSN. Love the set. Oh, so they love fantastic. your knife set. Also, we have a chef's knife coming up today. So stay with us, so they're gonna, we're actually gonna, is that the one you're using, right? Yes. Is that your oh, yeah. That yeah. knife, which is dynamite, is coming up in just a few moments. Hey, Daryl, do me a favor. How many of the gray do I have? Let's just do some updates, because we're hitting seven o'clock East Coast time. If you want the gray, there's 180 remaining. So that's last chance on that. I don't think it'll make it into tonight's show. It might, but I would be very surprised. The two most popular are gonna be that beautiful blue, which I think is very French Provence. And then I think the burgundy is equally as gorgeous. I love this burgundy. So those are the two you guys are liking the most. Please remember a today's special is only good for today. What's gonna happen? Well, at midnight, if we have anything left, it goes to $159. And you certainly don't get the five flex pay. And then that free shipping, that shipping savings is almost, what is it guys, $19? Almost $19 just in shipping charge. Charges. And Liz, I thought you made a great point. If you were to go to buy one beautiful Dutch oven, you know, high quality, biggest name out there, yada, 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 that could be in the hundreds of dollars for just a Dutch oven. Absolutely. I mean, we just made pizza. We don't need a pizza stone. That's uh, This gets incredibly hot. That's true. So, so I'm just going to grab point. this Well, is, is your come over with the rice, Lizzie, for that? We made stuffed peppers, a little bit of tomato sauce. But one thing we didn't talk about with these, I mean, unlike a nonstick pan, I used 
I could use metal, I could use wood, I could use plastic. Right. I don't have to worry about scratching metal tongs, metal whisks, which makes cooking so much easier. Right, because right. you don't have to baby it. You, you do don't not have to baby, have to baby it. No. cast not, iron. Not at all. <laughs> Look at that. It's rice. Everything, I mean, it's everything rice you love about cast out. iron with the enamel that makes it everything you love about nonstick, basically. It's the better nonstick when it really comes down to it. Well, kind of the perfect world. Yeah, I mean, it's just it's just really beautiful. Oh, I mean, this works. rice was sitting there. It even cooled down a little bit, as right you can now. see. I mean, it's totally clean. Amazing. I mean, um, it that doesn't usually happen. You usually get like a little bit of burnt somewhere in this pan in the bottom. I At kept, least I do. <laughs> I, I kept thinking my peppers were smelling like seafood. I forgot we were sitting here and I made these mussels. Right. Oh, there are the mussels. I gotta see the mussels real quick. And just a second, can you see the mussels over there? They're there. And you made that really fast. Yeah, three minutes. That's you know, it's funny. It, it brings things up to heat fast, too. Very. So, you know, you're spending less time in the kitchen and uh, less energy. Right. Yeah. And, I mean, look how there. beautiful this looks. Sitting on your table. I mean, this is, okay. you know, I mean, I think it's just absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. It smells 25 good, 25-minute right. feast. We got to wrap up <laughs> on this one. Please stay right there because we're going to talk about the trivets, and then we're going to get to that beautiful chef's knife in just a second. But here they are. It's a two-pack. You guys have been loving these today. And you know what? They're great for anything. I think they look great just sitting out, but obviously if you use other pans, other cookware, they're just beautiful trivets made of cast iron, and it is a set of two in the same matching colors as the today's special. We still have the white in that, and I think that white is so pretty for whatever kitchen decor you have and whatever cookware you have. So if you just want gorgeous, but really durable trivets, those are available. Also, up to 25% off and up to four flex pays on any of our Simon Home collection. That is huge. That's for a very limited time, today only. What you do is go to hsn.com and see Michael's and Liz's entire collection. Also, don't forget about the famous tongs. We love those tongs, and you guys do, too. It's a pack of two tongs that are... Can you show that one more time, Michael, if you don't mind? I, I love doing it, actually. Yeah, so cool. When they're, they're, when they're down, they're open. You push them up, you close them, but they close. what happens if you lay them flat in my drawer? Huh? They close. They'll, they'll stay how they are. They, you don't have to so worry until cool. they go back right. down, then you can open them. But, uh, you, know, you know how sometimes close. tongs in your drawer, they get they get stuck in the open position? Let me open these. You know, and then you're, they're stuck in your drawer. You jam in your drawer? Like, yeah. So this is, yeah. So these, <laughs> Nothing worse than tongs these, in your drawer. I like, I like a nice, tidy drawer, and that keeps it nice and, and tidy. And it's a set of two, a 9-inch and a 12-inch tong set on sale today. And as a matter of fact, they're, uh, I know what they are. Customer picked two flex pays, 9 inch and 12 inch in the tongs, and they match the cookware. Okay, so let's talk about this beautiful chef knife. Wow, I mean. And we did have the yeah. one customer say she loved your knives. What do you guys do that makes them different? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm gonna let Michael get into the I'm into details the knife. because this is his baby. It is. Um, but I mean, they just feel, they like for me, it feels great. It's not an overly large knife. It has a nice little rocker motion, so if you're doing any kind of herbs or anything like that, it just it just performs really, really well. And they stay sharp. I mean, you know, of course you know. you're gonna have to sharpen them, right? Well, yeah, Eventually. I mean, any knife. They're, they're, if someone tells you you could buy a knife and for a lifetime it's gonna be sharp, they're liars. <laughs> like, you, you need to sharpen a knife. But what the thing is, is you need the proper steel so when you sharpen the knife, the knife holds up and it holds its edge once it's sharpened. It takes an edge and holds an edge. And, you know, I'm a long-time knife collector. As a, as a professional chef, I've been collecting knives for 30 years. And But those knives could range anywhere from 100 to literally $1,000. Right. So I wanted to create a knife that had all the elements of the knives that I love that are insanely expensive that the, and put them in the hands of people so they could kind of... You want to enjoy cooking. You don't want this flimsy, flamsy thing. It's the same thing with the pots and pans. So when you look at this knife, one, it's German steel. Fantastic steel, incredibly durable, holds an edge, gets an edge, all the things that you're looking for. The other thing is, it is this is one piece of steel from end to end. A lot of times when you see knives in this price point, or even higher than this price point, the the steel stops about a quarter up the blade. You have no balance in the blade, and those knives often snap in half. But it can be really dangerous, yeah. actually. Full rivets all the way through. A handle that is very comfortable for your hand. I, because I'm a chef, I'm a little bit on the arthritic side, uh, arthritic side of things. So the, sh the handle's incredibly comfortable for your hand, and it's easy to clean. Um, and, you know, and it's, it's, this is a perfect size knife for most people, eight inch. We also make it in a five and a half inch if you want to work with a smaller knife okay. or you're a fan yeah. of, of a Santuco, the smaller one would be good for you. But I love the eight inch. And we have it in all four colors. I know the white is very limited now. So there's obviously your burgundy, there's the, the blue, the white and the gray. I love your packaging, guys. Look how beautiful this is. That's, well, that's, it's I have nothing to do. Now Liz could talk is because I have nothing world? to do with that. Liz, good job. Because <laughs> it's magnetic on the closure. That is so and clever. And it's really pretty and it's, 
you know, it's a very expensive looking box. It would make a great gift if you were, you know, a hostess gift or No one would ever like that. spent $17 when no, they opened this No, up. no. Never. Uh, no, they would not. think this is a couple hundred dollars. Yeah, they would, they would think they got yeah. one of my, like, per, from my personal collection. Right, yes, you know? right, right. Uh, and again, just as, you know, you don't build a house without a great hammer and nails. You got to have the right tools. Knives are essential. I want to get to a couple comments, gang. Barb says, love, love you on the chew and loves your cookware. And let's see. Oh, Pat said she got the cook or the knife set. Diane loved the pizza. It looked great. Uh, I wish my pie pans go. Oh, they want to get. Uh, oh, could you please make a, a little bit smaller pans for someone who lives by herself? <laughs> Absolutely. Well, we have Down the, 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 the little one yeah, quart. Yeah, that little one quart's great. great. Yeah. You know, and that really the good. two and a half uh, quart Dutch oven. Those are pans that you could literally cook from you know one to four. Oh, true. No That's a great point. Yeah. So think about the today special. Right. Yeah, it's a great point. Um, and again, I think, you know, as you guys would certainly know, and, and I've seen it a million times, you see any of the cooking shows, you Iron Chef, whatever, you guys come in with your own personal knives. Oh, that's yeah. how, if That's how important. You might use their pans, but you're going to bring your own knives. Look, I've been with Liz for close to 30 years. I love her more than I love my arms. <laughs> but I don't like it when she touches you my, must, my personal knives. I, well, I, well they, I, I need them, you know. But, but like, my, my point is, is my personal ones, the ones that I've been collecting forever, they, they're very personal to me, right. you know, and, it, and it's because it's a collection. And the great thing is, is with these knives, like Liz uses them all the time, she likes them better than my quote unquote, she goes, oh, I, don't, well, I, I do. like these better than your fancy knives anyhow. I do. You and know? why is that? One, he doesn't, well, he doesn't hover over me, like, oh my God, what are you? <laughs> You know, <laughs> like I'm, it's like I'm chilling. It's nice. I mean, it's unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> and again, this is just an essential part of a great kitchen, and they do it so brilliantly. And do not let the price fool you. Literally, when you feel it and touch it and see it and use it, you will think it's a much more expensive um, um, knife. All right, what time are you guys on? When's your last show? Um, uh, Ten o'clock. 10 p.m.? 10 and 11. 10 and 11. 10 and 11. 10 11. Oh, we'll see you then. Right now, I personally want to wish Bobby a happy anniversary. We're celebrating Bobby's, what is it now, 35th? year here at HSN. Can you imagine yes. that? Oh, Bobby. 35, 35 years. years. Bobby. Beautiful. Still going strong. So happy anniversary to Bobby. Thank you. It's so nice to meet you both. Nice we'll see you. them at 10 and I'll see you back soon.